Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Danny, the Wicked Awesome Gardener, and today is a very exciting day for me because it's chicken day! Yes, today is the day that I get my ladies, and you might maybe hear them in the background because they are in a crate right over there, and yeah, they're out of your view. The debut will come in a later video. <laughs> Sorry. But I'm so excited. It's definitely overdue because I've been talking about this since March. My friend who uh, brooded the chicks for me got them in April and May. So they're old enough that a couple of these girls have started laying. So uh, I've been very, very busy and I have yet to actually build the run around the chicken coop that I purchased from uh, Facebook Marketplace. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, a lot of the delay was in just time because either health or weather or my dad wanting to help but then not having time, you know, like things just didn't coalesce the way they should. So now my dad's back is out. So uh, I definitely don't have uh, the, the help there. So I'm building a run a little differently than I had envisioned and definitely different than the one my dad has envisioned um, because his was just we'll pound some stakes in and we'll put up some fencing and we'll be done and I'm doing something a little different which I think is just as simple just as easy um, and is going to be very protective for my girls uh, I've had to modify it a little bit because I don't have certain materials available right now but what I'm gonna do is a hoop coop run so we're gonna use the cattle panels that I used, the eight foot cattle panels that I used last year for my bean trellis and my pea trellis. Um, I'm gonna tie those together at the top and arch them over just like I did for the walkway, only instead of being four feet apart, they're gonna be about six, seven feet apart. I haven't, uh, I haven't measured. I've got it halfway up because my dad cannot resist um, any sort of building project, even putting his back out. Um, and he's finally decided he's he's had enough and he's gone inside. He doesn't want to be on camera, so I didn't film the beginning part of this. Uh, so I'm gonna just show you what I've done so far and then I'm gonna video the rest of what I'm doing. So I've gotta modify it a little bit because the ground here is kind of uneven. So doing the hoop coops like I've seen uh, in other YouTube videos where they use two by fours around the bottom. Um, I don't have a way to quite level everything out here, so we're gonna be a little pell-mell and have to figure that out, but I think, uh, I think we'll be all right. So let me go take you in and show you what I've done so far. So it's definitely not exact, but it will do. So there's the coop. We have it up on cinder blocks, so we have some space underneath there, some airflow, and I've still got to put the top onto the coop um, because we've definitely, we didn't want to move it up there with the extra weight of the roof on there. So while that was still detached, we just decided we'll pop it up there. So I'm gonna put the roof on, I'm gonna, close all of this up. Um, I did clean inside that coop as best I could and I cleaned it down with uh, industrial strength uh, vinegar solution. So that's nice and clean. And the only thing that concerns me is that there's so much brush back here. And I know as a kid, I've seen raccoons. So I'm gonna try to clean this up over the next few days as much as I can, but we are gonna be enclosing the back side of the coop. So. We're gonna make sure that that is buttoned up nice and tight so nobody is pulling in from there. So you can see I've got the cattle panel walls up, arched over. Instead of using zip ties, I wanted to make sure that this was something that a raccoon could not break. So I've got um, 18 gauge galvanized wire that's uh, woven all around here that's gonna keep these together. And as for what's going to go over it to prevent the chickens from just walking right out or the raccoons from walking right in is hardware cloth. I've got quarter inch hardware cloth. I have seen dozens of these hoop coop builds on YouTube and I'm not trying to knock them because I'm sure they know what they're doing but every single one of them uses chicken wire. And raccoon can reach his paw right through there. A raccoon can yank that and pull and break that. So mm, that's not for me, especially where we are in this, you know, shady area in the back corner of the yard. And it's back here because that is the only place I can legally put it because that puts it 25 feet from every dwelling. Cause you can see 
Well, behind this shed, there is a house. That's my neighbor. There's our house. There's the other neighbor's house. And then behind this wall and up is another neighbor's house. Whoop. If you look closely there, you just saw the chickens. So, <laughs> so yeah, this is the only place I could legally put it. So I'm just gonna have to shore it up very well and make sure that uh, my girls are well taken care of. Around the bottom for the moment, we have just the cinder blocks, but I'll show you what we're gonna do uh, with that as far as protection from uh, predators and all of that later when I get this built out. Okay, on to the rest of the build. Before I continue on, I should say that that is not the whole run because that's just not enough room for four chickens. For tonight, that may have to be it and I'll have to come back and do the other half tomorrow morning. But for now, my concentration is just getting this all set up so that the chickens are safe for tonight. Okay, so cutting quarter inch hardware cloth with a tiny pair of wire snips takes forever. <laughs> I definitely had to get up and pause the video because it could have taken a while. So what I have here is 18 feet of quarter inch hardware cloth. Uh, it's about four feet wide, which is about two inches shorter in width than the cattle panel and about two feet ish uh, longer than the cattle panels joined together. The reason that it's so long is so that at the bottoms I can bend it outward, put it under the, um, the cinder blocks and that should hopefully prevent digging under. Um, if you guys have any advice on that, let me know. I, I was hoping to dig down and bury it in like a J shape but unfortunately the ground here right under the coop is there's there's a lot of dirt but then there's a big width of rock there so I really can't dig down so I'm gonna do as much as I can and I'm hoping that a whole foot plus maybe a couple inches on each side will uh, help keep things from digging under. The girls are getting kind of hot in that crate, so I just want to get the small section that I have here closed up, and then I will worry about getting the second half of it on tomorrow because they need to get out of that crate and stretch their legs. I mean, it's a large crate. They have plenty of room to move. They've got water and all of that, but they're getting kind of antsy and stressed. So I'm gonna get the back of that closed up. I'm gonna get the front of it closed up, let them out to stretch their legs and uh, we'll come back to this when it cools off a bit. So here we are the next morning. Yesterday was really hot, so everything just was really slow going. Um, so I've decided that snipping hardware cloth and uh, sewing it to a frame here is definitely one of the most tedious things out there, but I think in the end I'm gonna be really glad that I did it. So I figured I would show you, since I'm using the eight foot cattle panels, what it looks like when I attach these so we have just the top block here the the top section of two cattle panels layered over each other and i'm kind of weaving them together with the galvanized wire Okay, so this is one of the areas that's kind of popped out. And you can see, all you have to do is just squeeze it and it comes right together. So we're gonna do that. Put the galvanized wire through. The hardest part, honestly, is that I'm doing this by myself. So I have to hold this 
together. I have to hold the cattle panels in place while I twist to make sure, there we go. And then once you get that initial twist out, that's fine. And then it just twists together. And like I said, we're gonna bend those around and trim them so that we don't have any um, issues with poking chickens. So it turns out that I did not math correctly and I ran out of hardware cloth. Uh, I have about seven feet of hardware cloth that I've got to pick up. So I'll just pick up a small roll and that should give me enough to finish off and build a door on the coop. But for the moment, I've made it as secure as I possibly can with some extra fencing that my dad had hanging around. It's not pretty, but it keeps the chickens contained and then um, it will hopefully help ward off predators even though it's uh, definitely bigger than uh, intended as far as the holes go. But for the moment it will do until I can get to Home Depot and I can pick up some extra materials and make my door and all that good stuff. Once I did that, I had to head out for a previous engagement with my theater group, but the coop is pretty buttoned up. It'll do all right for the moment. Let me show you. Pretend you can't see the chickens in there because I haven't introduced you yet and that will come later this week, but here we have four eight foot cattle panels put together with hardware cloth and I have thrown some shade cloth over the top to uh, help keep the chickens cool in this super hot weather. So the dimensions of the run are eight by seven ish <laughs> and about six feet tall at the peak. And then we've got the coop that I picked up um, in Connecticut. I went on a little adventure to go pick that up. That crate is going to go back to my friend that brooded the chicks for me, but all in all, pretty decent coop for as cheap as it was, as easy yet tedious as it was to put together. And uh, over here, I just have to undo a few ties and slip in under the top section of fence so I can go in and put them to bed later. <laughs> But all in all, not a bad setup for the money that I spent on it, the time that I took on it, and the girls seem to like it. They've been relaxing in here all afternoon and seem very chilled out versus uh, yesterday where they had to spend a lot of time in that crate before I put them in the coop and they were like, where the heck am I? So I'll do another video when I am finishing up the coop, when I do the front, I've got to get the materials, like I said, from Home Depot and build the door and all of that, get it buttoned up all nice and pretty. So I will do a part two video for finishing up the coop. That's probably going to be my next video. So I'll see you then where we raise some wicked awesome eggs from our yard to table. Bye bye